the Wraith, whom no man could kill, versus Mitrander, the White Rider. Hello friends, it's Carl here, and today we'll be discussing whether the Witch King of Angmar stood the chance at defeating Gandalf. During the return of the King, the Witch King led Mordor's attack on Minas Tirith, while Gandalf was in charge of its defenders. It's quite appropriate that one uses terror and fear as his power, while the other was a symbol of hope, since terror and hope are contrasting emotions. In the films at one point, the Witch King lands besides Gandalf, overpowers him and breaks his staff, and this seems to suggest that his power was vastly superior to Gandalf's. But does this hold any truth? So to answer this, we're going to break down the characters, what we know about their capabilities and their past, so that we can sum them up better. So Gandalf was a Maya spirit, a divine being, and these were the servants of the Valor, who were a sort of the gods of Middle-earth. The Witch King, on the other hand, started off as a mere human sorcerer. Now Maya spirits came in many forms and levels of strength, but I believe that Gandalf was amongst the top tier, for he succeeded in defeating the Balrog, and the Balrogs are one of the strongest Maya spirits, and he did this when he was still Gandalf the Grey. Now this would give him an edge over the Witch King in terms of power level, but it doesn't mean that a lower tier specimen can't defeat a higher one. In the history of Middle-earth, there are several elves that have slain Balrogs, or Wormtongue slaying Saruman, or even Ungoliant, who was possibly a Maya spirit, almost defeating Morgoth, the most powerful of the Valor. Also, Gandalf was sent in the form of an old man by the Valor, as the wizards were sent to lead the people with knowledge and encouragement instead of raw power. So perhaps in this form, his Maya potential was somewhat diminished, though again he did match take on the Balrog. Now one could say that perhaps Sauron gave the Witch King extra strength, or that the Witch King's ring augmented his power. If Sauron did give him strength, it's something we're never told or really hear about, so I can't state it as a fact, we can only acknowledge its possibility. However, regarding the ring, we actually believe that the Witch King didn't carry his own ring, but these were taken back into Sauron's possession. Gandalf, on the other hand, still had the elven ring of fire, Narya, which was again superior to the rings that were given to the Nazgul. Now looking at his past, when Gandalf was simply Gandalf the Grey, he had fought all nine of the Nazgul on Weathertop, and before attacking him, the Nazgul waited till it was dark so that they'd be at their strongest. Now even against the nine, all at one go, Gandalf managed to hold them off and force them to retreat. There are also several quotes that give us an indication to Gandalf's strength, which I'll quote now. Dangerous, cried Gandalf, and so am I, very dangerous. More dangerous than anything you will ever meet unless you are brought alive before the seat of the Dark Lord. Aragorn also states, the Dark Lord has nine, but we have one mightier than they are, the White Rider. There is still one thing we need to discuss, and this is the Witch King's prophecy, that no man can slay him. Surely this means that Gandalf couldn't. However, I don't think it means this at all. I think that when the prophecy was created, it didn't mean that the Witch King was so powerful that no man could overcome him simply meant that throughout his future, he just wouldn't end up fighting a man that was stronger than him or that could beat him, and thus it really doesn't say anything about his power or give him some impervious shield to defend him from men. Now after discussing all this, I'm sure some of you feel that the Witch King was weak or he was overrated, but again I'd have to disagree. Sure he didn't have Gandalf's raw power, but power isn't only in one strength. The Witch King was a symbol of pure terror that very few could stand and face him, and this is a tremendous power in itself. It could render a defense completely obsolete. There is also Saruman's power, which was that of coercion. What I'm trying to say is that power doesn't necessarily mean combat prowess. Also, this doesn't mean that victory would be assured. It would just mean that the odds are highly in favor of Gandalf. So if they had to fight, say, a hundred times, I think Gandalf would win the vast majority, but the Witch King might overcome him in a few of them. Anyway, this wraps up the video guys, if you feel there's anything else that could balance the scale of this comparison, feel free to drop a comment and we'll discuss it there. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to join our fellowship today. I hope to see you all in my next video, where together we'll once again explore the wonderful world and lore of Middle-earth.